Before Jim McAlpine works out, he lights up. I personally use it for focus. It's not about getting high, it's about keeping my mind engaged in the activity I'm in. McAlpine believes there are many athletes out there who feel the same way. So he's in the process of opening what he's calling the world's first cannabis gym in San Francisco. I kind of laugh and make a joke that when I was 18, the world's first cannabis gym was at my parents' house in their garage and they didn't know about it. Exhale, reaching down. McAlpine is partnering with a former pro football player known for his marijuana use. And as you exhale. Ricky Williams was in the Bay Area leading a yoga class at a recent cannabis business conference. He says he's trying to dispel the stigma around it. I think a lot of people, um, they buy into the, the stoner archetype or the, the stoner stereotype where guys just sit on the couch and smoke and don't do anything and they're not they're not very motivated um, that's not my experience I mean you know I found when I when I was playing football that using cannabis really helped me to relax physically relax mentally and, and, and even spiritually the former Heisman Trophy winners marijuana use cost him during his playing days he was repeatedly suspended by the National Football League for testing positive for pot it definitely should be taken off the ban list I mean my personal story I think if, if cannabis wasn't on the NFL's ban list I'd probably be going to the Hall of Fame this year there's a growing push among current players including the Titans Derek Morgan for the NFL to study how medical marijuana could help players while the potential benefits of marijuana on exercise have not been scientifically proven or studied thoroughly doctors who work with cannabis patients say it can be used to manage post-workout pain whether it be arthritis back pain cancer pain knee pain, etc. Across the board, pain is number one. So to use cannabis in that sense for pain relief, instead of the usual things you're able to do now, which of course are opioids, um, is hands down why you would use it. For now, gym members will need a medical cannabis prescription, but that could change if California votes to legalize the recreational use of marijuana in November. I feel lucky to be alive in the time and place in the world to actually be able to actualize this because five or ten years ago there's no way this could have ever happened. The gym partners say they're currently finalizing power plants, San Francisco lease, and plan to open by the end of the year. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Novato, California.